Hi, my name is Greg Matthews with Sierra Pacific Windows, and today we're going to install a swing door trim set. So here, we're using a door style to mimic a door, but basically we're going to be putting a trim set or handle set on this door so that you can operate the hardware. So I'll start unpacking the material I'm going to use. These are called discussions or back plates, and then the handles. The gaskets, keyed cylinder lock with keys. First place we're going to start off is getting the gaskets on the discussions. I like to start with the top screw. Anyway, I just like to hand tighten it. You don't want to tighten everything down yet because you may need to adjust it slightly. And again, the bottom screw, just to hand tight. And the next thing we're going to do is put our little plastic protection on with the O-ring snapped on first, and then go to the other side. That's it. Seat that on. This is very important. On the thumb turn with the Hoppy hardware, there's this little gate in the back. And this has to be in the down position to be able to insert into this keyhole up here, right here. But this little thing is in the way and it won't move out of the way. You could use a paper clip if you needed to, if you bent it sharp enough, but you want to hang on to this, put it in your junk drawer. Now this fits down on this side here and then you pull down and it releases it so that you can set it in that position. Keyed cylinder with a thumb turn that's going to go through this slot right here, and there it goes. Line it up, and the cylinder's in place. Now, it's not centered until you take this screw, and come in here through the hole, and tight. you can go ahead and tighten that down all the way. So that's locked into place now. Start the spindle off in one of the handles to feed it through. And these are very unique handles, what's called the Dallas trim set. And I say they're unique because there's no screws that need to be tightened up to hold it in place on the spindle. There's this, looks kind of like an Allen wrench, but it has a regular slot type screwdriver on the end. And that fits into this little slot right there. And you turn it to relieve the pressure on the ring that holds it in place on the spindle. I'm going to now insert the interior side, pressing them together. And then I like to get them so they're as tight as I can get by hand. I can activate everything. Lock it with the key. And then once I run it through its paces, then I'll come back and I'll tighten everything down. Okay. Check, make sure it still works good. That means everything's still lined up really nice. There you go. So. That throws the shoe bolts on top and bottom. That throws the dead bolt and locks it in place. Once you get the door installed and everything works properly, you need to remove this blue plug. It's, and it releases this little, looks like a little striker, like what this is up here. And what that's called is an anti-slam device. It doesn't allow the shoe bolts to come out on the top and the bottom when you push the push them up or try to activate them. That has to be pushed in or, or compressed to allow that to happen. And the reason behind that, if you could cycle those and have them open up and the door happen to be open, then you go to shut it, it would scratch the floor and also the top of your door jam. So it's critical to make sure that you have this blue plug removed after you're done installing your hardware. 
and that's how you install your swing door trim set.